Hello, I'm Dr. Mao. Welcome to the weekly Dial of Wellness COVID update. My associates and I will be giving you the latest development in COVID-19 pandemic and some practical advice to help keep you and your family healthy. As we await the final outcome on the U.S. presidential election, yesterday the U.S. recorded 121,888 new cases of COVID-19, according to a Johns Hopkins University tally, the highest single-day increase ever in the U.S. The seven-day average was close to 95,000 new daily cases, an almost 24% increase from the previous seven-day period. The U.S. has now over 9.6 million total cases, with death from the disease approaching 235,000. Similarly, the second wave of COVID has struck across Europe with countries like the U.K., France and Germany reimposing lockdown measures like they did earlier in the spring. The surge was predicted and not surprising, given the fact that as weather cools, people are forced to gather indoors, and as we enter cold and flu season, the coronavirus catches a ride with the seasonal viruses and infecting the vast population around the world. The silver lining is that due to travel restrictions, Less people are flying around the world, and that can mean a lower overall seasonal flu infection rate. Likewise, with stricter public health measures, COVID infection rates may moderate and taper off sooner rather than later. As bad as the numbers sound, the death rate is inching down. When the U.S. started tracking COVID pandemic back in February of this year, the death rate was over 5%. Since those early days, testing has expanded and so has the medical community's ability improved in their response to patients with COVID infections, intervening with more effective measures to reduce complications. The public has also become more aware and taken steps to reduce transmission and beefing up their own immune functions with natural herbs and supplements. The result is less people dying among those who got infected. Ultimately, the best solution to lowering COVID infection is still the same tried and true practices. Wear a mask in public, wash hands and avoid touching face. Get tested regularly, quarantine those, including family members who tested positive for the virus. Keep your immune system strong and maintain a positive mental outlook and a healthy lifestyle. Now, talking about positive mental outlook, the U.S. presidential election has had people on pins and needles, and sleepless nights with anxiety, anger, and even despair. And that's detrimental to your immune health. Studies show that chronic stress can lower your immunity by up to 80% and predispose you to communicable diseases as well as impair your ability to heal. So no matter which side you're on, stay calm and peaceful and know that if the outcome isn't what you would have liked, everything works in cycles, just as day follows night, and spring will come even after a long and cold winter. Just make sure that you don't fall prey to the manipulations of the media and the dramas of politics. Meditate to keep your mind clear and calm for the sake of your immune function and your ability to resist COVID and colds and flus this winter. Check out my Calm Meditation download on DaoStar.com. That's spelled T-A-O star.com. Until the next update, take care of your loved ones by taking good care of yourself.